when I was like four, 13, 14, I guess, in front of like so many people. Yeah, that was, that was it. Hi, my name is Sadie Sink, and I'm going to be asking questions to my teenage self. Uh, definitely a lot of fashion choices were made that I'm you know, not proud of. Younger self just to like really take it all in because things move so fast, you start to, I guess just like Sades or, or um, Sadie Beth. My middle name is Elizabeth. That's like, those are some of my nicknames, I guess. But yeah, Sades is basically, that's like the main one. I feel like, I feel like when I was younger, I would I would say like queen a lot. Like when that like first came out, like calling people like queens or like icons or legends or like whatever. I, I would like constantly say like, oh, you're a queen and they're, they, they slay or this and that. And it's amazing just like seeing how like the lingo just like filters in and out, like some things stick, some things don't. But yeah, when that was like first kind of on the up and up, I would say it all the time. First kiss was actually, I mean, I guess technically it would be the one that was in Stranger Things when I was like four, 13, 14, I guess, in front of like so many people. Yeah, that was that was it. Pretty pretty incredible story. <laughs> it's it's amazing to just kind of like you know be with one of your best friends and like in this amazing 80s decked out gym. So I think mean, kind of cool. <laughs> I'm not mad at it. Um, I think you know. Feminism, definitely when I was younger, it was, it felt more about like, you know, girl power. And then, and it still is obviously, but I think I just, I didn't have as much of an understanding of what it meant when I was younger, but it was definitely something that was so, just not talking to whoever it is. Um, which, you know, isn't very, <laughs> it's not the most effective strategy, but yeah, for some reason, I, I was just scared of everyone in, in that, like in that sense, just really, really terrified. Thank you so much for watching me talk about my teenage self. Be sure to check out Fear Street on Netflix. When you're a Broadway kid, everyone kind of knows each other. So that's how I met Caleb and we'd always go to the, what we called the Broadway part. My first impression of him, I mean, I can't really remember when I first, first met him, but like first impression after joining the cast, I was like, probably, wow, he's so grown up. Some things that Caleb has taught me. Sorry. Caleb always is asking for- Wait, wait. Is that what you were saying? No, the handshake. The handshake? Well, Remember? I was gonna say like, you're always like, really, like you're always asking for like tissues on set. Oh. <laughs> Just having someone that's kind of going through the same thing that you're going through, it's a great support system. Oh, okay, well then you said two, two three, three, design. Oh wait, I forgot, I wasn't gonna <laughs> think of a word. Okay, ready? Okay, one, two, three, stranger things. Hmm. One, oh, two, oh, we're oh, so close. Okay, got it. Two, three, bracelet, bracelet. yes! yes! We got it! Sadie. Thank you. <laughs> Caleb, you give great advice. No. Thank you. I do, you're like very chilly. Even... <laughs> Wait, are you still talking? I don't know. <laughs> I'm a ballerina. Oh my god, I never knew I was a ballerina. Did we did it. That was interesting. I feel very connected to Caleb. Yes, friendship. for sure. I'm excited yeah. about the premiere. Yeah. Meet you. Yeah, now. nice to meet you. Uh, please, now. <laughs> Little things stopping little things you. Stop you. They didn't have that. On no, the they board. didn't. No. But, the, but then at the end they did. And, and then it was like you, crazy. And, yeah, yeah, it was great. It, it was. But <laughs> what was cool <laughs> is that we kept doing it. They told us to stop. So we stopped for like a couple weeks and then we, we started doing it again because, you know, I could feel specifically the over disobeying. Yeah, exactly. Of course, but yeah. Uh, did you, uh, you came in. I feel like I am. I think yeah. I fit in okay, yeah. I guess. You definitely are. I mean, yeah. I know you, uh, uh, for CD. Uh, from Millie. I am oh. Mustard. Millie is Ketchup. These are two characters that we made up while filming Stranger Things. Oh, season three? Um, yeah, you'll probably, like, once the show is released, or, um, probably release, like, some behind-the-scenes footage of and you guys will get to see Ketchup and Mustard in action. <laughs> I'm just nervous. <laughs> it's, it's... Uh... What? Oh, I know who's that I from. I don't know who that is. is. 
I, can I say it? No, no, no. Oh. Wait until we do all the questions. How do? How? Because it really is. <laughs> what? This is what I was. This is what I'm. Wait, what does that mean? Like your voice. Like your changed. voice. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like in season what three. Like your voice. Oh, like in really season one. Season. No, in season. This, what? This most recent season, your voice <laughs> changed a lot. Oh, so. so you had to. Okay. Who told you you needed to work on? Oh, Sean. <laughs> 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 Oh. Very hard. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Sean was like... So, oh, so yeah, hard. okay, I have a story. In the beginning of the, when we were doing the the reading, he was like, oh, can you, like, talk like this? It's oh, all good, though. Right. Hi, I'm Sadie Sink, and I'm here today to share with you what I learned while filming season two of Stranger Things, growing up 80s style. Can't live without your smartphone? 80s kids did. Back then, phones had cords, weighed a ton, and were typically attached to the kitchen wall. They were also useful for attempting to call your friends in the upside down. Barb, is that you? Creepy but cuddly aliens. <laughs> it's ears. Floppy disks. In the 80s, Cabbage Patch Kids topped every kid's Christmas list. Parents stampeded through stores. I mean, they're kind of cute. Trapper Keeper. Dot Matrix Paper. The 80s brought us Nintendo, bringing the arcade to your living room. You just had to make sure to clean the cartridge before you played. Blue eyeshadow. Shoulder pads. I feel powerful. These little babies divided friends into two groups. Those who could solve it, and those who peeled off the stickers to make it look like they could solve it. Patrick Swayze. Oh hey, didn't see you there. I'm just over here having the time of my life. Don't I look good together? Home workout videos. In the 80s, the best way to romance a girl was to stand underneath her window blaring a slow jam out of your boombox. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned a lot of cool stuff about the 80s. I'll see you guys in Hawkins. Hmm. This summer, I'll probably be wearing... I, don't, I love, like, I mean, I'm kind of wearing them right now, but, like, long, flowy dresses. I'm, like, all about that. I, I mean, I'll sometimes wear, like, skirts and shorts and stuff, but I just love cute summer dresses. It's, like, my favorite thing about um, summer fashion. Hi, who, what, where, it's Sadie Sink. <laughs> In season three, I think the fashion is probably the best it's been. The first two seasons were both set in the fall. This season, so you get to kind of see like all like the moms going to jazzercise with like the leotards and the, the bright leggings and leg warmers. The best off-duty style goes to I don't know, we're all so different, that's the thing. Like, some people care about fashion a little bit more than others. I'd say it goes to Kayla, like, able to just kind of, like, whip out her phone and, like, post a story and, like, it's, like, super cute and perfect. And then, like, with me, like, I can't do that at all. <laughs> um, who's late to set? No one. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give that away. <laughs> no one's late to set. Everyone is on time. Everyone's very professional. Wait, is this for real? Is this true? That's terrible. Hey, it's Sadie Sink. So in season three, Max seems to be breaking up with Lucas every five seconds. It's really funny. <laughs> oh, oh boy. All right. My sophomore summer, my boyfriend dumped me, so I pretended that this mannequin head was my boyfriend to make him jealous. <laughs> yeah, that's just, that's weird. Wow. Actually, honestly, yeah, I've... One of my friends would like hold hands with like my like our best guy friend and like send it to like her crush or like someone she was mad at or like her ex to make her think that she was in a relationship. So honestly, I, I can relate to this because I've done it for my friend. It's kind of badass. I really like that. And I think that, oh. yeah, I think Max would use that, honestly. Not me, but Max would. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> They're all here, like Ashley, like you had too big of a backpack. Like you can't walk around with the backpack girl. It makes sense. It makes sense. <laughs> All right. She wasn't ready. She wasn't ready. You can't. She wasn't ready. <laughs> um, to someone going through a middle school breakup right now, like, it's it's not that big of a deal. It's middle school. You're gonna get over it. I mean, it's fun right now, but like, come on, be realistic. <laughs> I'm Sadie Sink, and this has been extremely relatable. Hey. Oh, I think.
really, I really needed this. I miss my puppy. I know, it's like the calm within the storm. Oh, wow. I think I'm just going to take him for the rest of the oh, well, night. Oh, you can give him a hold if you want to hold him. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh. As long as you don't turn into like a vampire or anything scary, <laughs> yeah, then you, you can hold so. on to him. Yeah. He's so sweet. Yeah. So tell me about the film. How was it filming? It was great. It was so fun. It was a really fun experience. Um, and the cast is just a blast here. I'll hand it back oh, to you. Oh, thank you so much. Um, the cast is a blast to be around. So yeah, it was a real honor. And it's kind of unique because it's obviously a trilogy. So it's over three films and over three completely different times in, you know, in the world. So, so tell me about that and how it was, you know, kind of working between the three different uh, times. Yeah, so I think we, uh, they filmed the first one and then they filmed the third one. And then we did the second one, so I kind of like joined in at the tail end of the yeah. filming process. But yeah, that was kind of what attracted me to the films in the first place. It's like a really groundbreaking concept, um, shooting all, all three films in one summer and then releasing them uh, each a week apart. And I've got to say, when you were walking on the red carpet, I was like, I think you're probably going to win Best Dress tonight. The full black, oh, wow. the old Prada, it looks amazing. I know, amazing. I think I would just wanted to see how many Prada logos I could fit in one look. I got five, so I think it's well, pretty, I think pretty impressive. Good. Thank Does you. it feel good to dress up, like after kind of, you know, for about a year everyone's been at home? How does it feel to get ready and be yeah, on the carpet? It honestly, I've been, I've been filming a lot recently, so it just feels good to get out of Max's clothes for a while from Stranger Things, so... Yeah, it feels oh, good. Awesome. So what else have you been working on, you know, aside from the film? Yeah, we're working on the fourth season of Stranger Things right now. Um, and it's been it's been kind of the never ending season. We've been filming for a while, but um, really excited to get that out there for everyone. Are there any spoilers that you can give us? Like anything that, that fans can expect for season four? My lips are sealed. I can't say anything. I mean, I'd say the only thing I can say is that like the, just the production scale is just gets bigger and bigger each year and the stakes are really, really high. Um, as they always do, it just gets increasingly darker and um, yeah, so I'm excited for it. I think at one point they thought I was gonna be too old, but I was just like, no, just give me give me more material. Like I, I wanna go in again. And then I did and we did a chemistry read and I got there and we were all the same height and the same age and they had nothing to worry about. First big stunt I ever did. On Stranger Things, there's like a scene in season three where like <laughs> Billy like punches me across the face. <laughs> So that was a stunt, I guess, but the real heavy stunts come in season four. The first thing that people get wrong about me, probably my age maybe. People recognize me from the show when I was like 14 or 15 on it. They think somehow they've aged, but I haven't. But I have. <laughs> Oh my god, I was so nervous. The first day of shooting, being on like a TV set as big as Stranger Things was very intimidating. The first scene was where I'm like in my like Michael Myers like costume and then I jump from the bushes and I scare the kids. That's when I think I got the audition, I was like, this, like, I don't know, like it was just aligning. I still feel like every time I hear that theme song, I go back to like my room on my laptop when I'm watching season one for the first time. My first dream that ever came true, being on Broadway, like that was all that I wanted. And I was able to do that when I was like 10 years old, I think. That was the ultimate dream. My first show was Annie on Broadway <laughs> and Annie was everything. Like I'd watch the 80s version of Annie with Carol Burnett and Aileen Quinn over and over and over again. So to do that on Broadway was like, oh, it was just, it was everything. <laughs> Oh God, um, you know, I actually, over the pandemic, I, I liked to cook a lot, but prepackaged things are so much easier. So unfortunately I'm like a cereal for dinner kind of girl, um, especially when like I have a busier schedule or like Postmates. First date, <laughs> no. Maybe when I was like, like little, you know, you'd hang out with a boy and then people were like, oh, you went on a date. And I was like, no, <laughs> no. First famous person that followed me. I mean, I guess it'd be one of my castmates, I guess, when I joined the show, technically. To kind of be like thrown into that was like a lot. <laughs> I was at like a, a speech and debate practice or something and my mom called me in a panic and she was like, I need to pick you up. And I'm like, well, mom, I'm practicing my routine. And she's like, no, I gotta pick you up. So then like she came, she picked me up. She drove me home and she was driving really fast. And then I think I knew something was up and then I got a phone call and it was Matt and Ross and they were like, all right, you got it. I was like, okay, cool. When Stranger Things came along, I was like, oh no, 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 this, <laughs> we're gonna do this. 
the first time I watched myself on screen, it was my first TV job ever. And I was a, I made like a little guest appearance on a TV show called The Americans, which is a really good show. Do I look like a little girl? Thank you. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't, I, I don't like watching myself because you know when you're when you're on a stage, it's like you go, you do whatever, and then you don't have to see it or think about it ever again until the next performance. Um, but like seeing your work back, that was the first time I like was kind of like watching myself act, and it took some getting used to for sure. God, I, I, no one teaches you what to do on those things. They kind of just like throw you in blind and I'm like not a natural in any way. I was just kind of like, okay, I guess I'm just gonna like look at what everyone else is doing and try and emulate that. They said my name and I remember that was really weird for me because the show hadn't even come out yet, but they still like knew my name. It's just so overwhelming, but you get used to it for sure. The first thing you should do when you visit Texas, go get yourself like a half gallon of Bluebell ice cream you won't regret it. Mint chocolate chip was always my favorite. But that's, I know a lot of people think it, that's, that shouldn't be an ice cream flavor, but that was my personal favorite. Gas is Max. I told my brother Mitchell and he cried. It was very sweet. I'm one of five kids, but my brother Mitchell was like my, my musical theater partner in crime. I think the first time I cried on command. It's interesting because when I was little crying, on camera was all about like producing tears and you're just like, oh, I gotta get a tear down or something like that. And then as you get older, there's like a shift where it's like, you kind of start to just like feel it more and like you're actually emotional when you're doing it. I like hate hearing myself even say this. It sounds so actory and I hate it, but like, yeah, you like go to a dark room and like you'll like listen to music or something, get into your character's mindset, whatever like serves you in that moment. The first time I met Dacre, who plays Billy, my stepbrother on the show, we didn't have a chemistry read or anything. So I think I met him at like the opening like, cast welcome dinner. We didn't get to practice anything. Like our first scene that we filmed together was I think in episode four. Dacre's such a nice person and in between takes, he's just, you know, ever so lovely and, and charming and, and, and hilarious. Um, but then we'd get into it and I was like, oh wow, it was a lot more intense than I thought it was gonna be. Like he's, he's a really talented actor and like taught me a lot just like watching him just throw himself in there. First time I got turned on for a role I really wanted. Oh man, I, <laughs> I auditioned for Matilda, which my brother ended up being in. I am not a dancer. I can't do that, but I auditioned and um, needless to say, <laughs> did not get a call back. That was it. Hmm. Maybe I'd say Robin, maybe? <laughs> I like that it doesn't take too much time in the hair and makeup trailer and getting into costume and stuff. No, but my favorite thing about playing Max, she kind of, she's very different than me, so it's fun to kind of step out of my own shoes and be a little mean <laughs> sometimes. And I also like that every season, she continues to grow, so it keeps things exciting. Um, for me, hair is typically 10 minutes. Makeup is five minutes, and then another five for costume. Wardrobe change, thank you.